field trip. We have what we call hands-on paleontology. And uh, I've been doing this for some 20 years now, for over 40,000 kids. And they're digging up uh, fossils that I have found, fossils that friends of mine have found, and fossils that I have bought from paleontologists around the state of Florida. And I have thrown some crystals inside, of course, in the pit too, to excite the children because, you know, they like finding things that glitter. And that's how I got started when I was eight years old anyway. I used to collect crystals. And from the crystals, I went on to the fossils. So we have a lot of cool stuff in the pit from uh, the early Ice Age until the Pliocene time period, which is seven, 10 million years ago. And when we're done here uh, collecting fossils, and they get to keep all the fossils, I identify the fossils for them. Then we'll go into the museum, and I'll talk to them about the fossils that we have in the museum on display. Wow. That is part of, oh, that's cool. That's, uh, Sea turtle, it's a sea turtle piece of shell, turtle shell. He has a very excellent eye, look at that, that's a nice, look at the blade on that shark's tooth, look at the serrations on that tooth. This is from a big megalodon, those, both of those, and so is that. You're a megalodon hunter, you're a shark hunter, that's, a, that's another nice tooth. That there is part of a, wow, it's part of a deer leg, really cool. This is the mouth plate of a stingray right here, it's very cool, see it? Like a flattened comb, that's what that is, mouth plate of a stingray. There's your dolphin beak, and there's your turtle. And that is a piece of turtle. That's a rib of probably of a little horse or a deer, one of the two. That's some turtle shell. Look at that, another megalodon. Yeah, you are the great white hunter, no doubt. These, these sharks are the ancestors of the great white shark. Well, this is part of the Paleo Preserve program here. This is our museum that we have here, and here at Camp Bayou. And we have cases here that, that I made these cases, and we have another building next door where my volunteers made those cases. But these cases, we have uh, shells and invertebrates from around Florida and around the world. And here in this other case, we have like leaf fossils, and then we have sloth claws and other shells and Cretaceous ammonites that I dug up in South Dakota. And of course, as you look around, you see all the pictures and photographs of fossils. I think it's really important, some of the photos that I've taken all my, throughout my life of fossils. It's nice to see the fossils and correlate that with, uh, with the pictures. And with giant beaver skulls here and small little micro fossils, what we call small tiny little fossils and giant shark's teeth. We have a touch table here. Very cool touch table that the kids love. You get to touch a piece of petrified poop or touch a star, a meteorite. This, this was in the heavens many, many, many billions of years ago, floating around in the heavens, flickering. So I think it's really cool that it ended up here at Camp Bayou. And then we have another case here. We have fossils and crystals from around the world. And we have more fossils and crystals. We have a dinosaur egg. We have amber with insects in them. And we have saber cat skulls in this case here. And then, of course, we have some crystals here that kids love to buy, you know, a little one and two or three dollar trinkets and things. Giant crocodile that I dug up at, in the phosphate mines years ago. And then we have a, a mammoth tusk that a friend of mine in Bradenton donated uh, the Paleo Preserve. And we have giant pigs like this guy right here. We had, and then this giraffe that we that I found in '79. The phosphate mine is the only skull known in the whole entire world, a prehistoric giraffe. And we have, I think, the really cool box here of fossils that fluoresce under a black light. You might be able to uh, catch that with the, the camera there. And we have fossils of that are of importance that were found here at the pit here by some of the kids that donated here museum. And then of course last but not least we have mammoth and mastodon teeth and then we have all the pictures and the news bulletins and magazines and photos of the big discovery we made here in 1983-84 at the Lycee Shell Pit. And of course last but not least the grandest statement of all imagination is more important than knowledge.